So in today's video, we're going to be trading from a wooden sword all the way up to a maxed out G sword. Now seriously, this is going to take a lot of work because it's going to involve a ton of different trades with a bunch of people just slowly working my way up from a wood sword up to a maxed out G sword. Now obviously, we're not just going to find someone who's willing to give out a G sword and try and make the trades as fair as they can be. But I think with that said, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Once again, you guys crushed the last like goal. You were like 100 likes above what I set it to. So I know this is going to be really high, but if we can shoot for 275 likes in this video, I will give away some stuff on my Discord server. I'm not entirely sure yet, but if we do hit the like goal, make sure you join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. And then also just scroll down there and check if you're subscribed or not. I'm really trying my best to get to 10,000 subscribers and we're about 900 away guys so every single sub means the world to me anyways apart from that the server that i'm playing on is ecpehub.net come join i am on op factions who knows maybe you can also trade up to a g sword it might take some time but it might be worth it <laughs> anyways enjoy the video So in terms of getting our sword, literally all we're going to do is just run to the wild, chop down a tree, and we're going to call it good. <laughs> just place down a little crafting table, and here we go. Here's the wooden sword that we're going to be trading up to a G sword. So now all we got to do is just try to think of a decent trade that someone would be willing to trade this sword for. And guys, it's really not worth much. So I'm not sure what I could do really. So all we're going to do is literally just item this and just ask if there's any trade offers. If it's something like they're willing to trade a G sword for it, we're not going to take it because obviously that's not realistic. But I'm thinking something like maybe a relic or oh, not as good of a CE or something would be about the same value as a wooden sword considering all. People are going to be expecting this like to be a G sword, but no, it's just literally a wooden sword. That's it. Four attack damage. Nike sword for it. No way someone, it, I swear if it's actually a G sword, I can't take it, but <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. So people are just giving me joke offers of like super OP stuff, but we got to actually find someone who's legitimately willing to trade something of value for this. All right. So I'm thinking something like one legendary relic might be about the same value. Maybe. I don't know, honestly, but we already got someone who's willing to trade that. So <laughs> we're just going to roll with it at this point. Someone gave me this video idea. And honestly, I thought it would be pretty entertaining to just see how long it'll take you and how many trades to go from basically a wooden sword all the way up to a maxed out G sword. So he's willing to go through with the trade. So all we're going to be doing is literally upgrading a wooden sword up to one legendary relic. And honestly, overall, I think it's a fairly decent start. It's something that's got a little bit of value but not a whole bunch so i'm just looking in chat here and this dude's taking forever to get this relic so i think he's just having some bad luck trying to get it but this dude straight up goes one legendary relic for a million coins <laughs> anyways we'll send a tpa over and we're gonna do this trade so here you go here is the sword and i will take that legendary relic <laughs> and i think we'll be going on our ways i got my relic now he's got the sword but anyways now that we got this legendary relic we gotta also try to find some offers for this so we'll just item it and see if anyone's got some trades that they're willing to do uh, someone said 10k 2.5 mil right now <laughs> i mean 10k is a little short in my opinion we could maybe try to get it for like 50k <laughs> to our next video idea trading from a wooden sword to g set oh man they're on to me <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so on to me. A hundred stone. You know, that's that's not a bad idea. I mean, we might as well take it. A hundred stone is probably worth more than a legendary relic. So we'll send him a TPA. We'll get rid of this legendary relic and we will get a hundred stone. Honestly, I don't know what that's going to be good for. All right. So here he is. There's the legendary relic. I'll be taking my stone. <laughs> We got 100 stone now. So now that we got 100 stone, I gotta see what people are willing to trade 100 stone for. We're just gonna try to see if anyone's got offers for this. I don't know if we're working up or down. I don't know if that was a worth it trade. An atlas kit. All right, but that's actually not a bad trade. I think 100 stone for an atlas kit is fairly decent considering all. So we'll just run over this way with the dude. There's your stone. We'll be taking that atlas kit. We're making so many trades out here now. Three necro kits. Ooh. So I think we can maybe see if someone, if they want to trade three necromancer kits for one atlas kit. They're both G kits and they're fairly decent. So we'll have to see if he's willing to do this trade. All right. So here we go. We got the atlas kit that we're going to trade this dude for his three necromancer kits. And just like that, we're slowly making moves. So now at this point, we've got three necromancer kits. A stack of stone. I can't be doing that. No, that's not worth it. I'll give you 16 atlas. Ooh, that's a really good idea. All right, so now that we've got 16 atlas kits, 
we're making we're slowly making progress we went from literally having a wooden sword and now we've got 16 atlas kits so thank you sir and we gotta move on <laughs> so he's got two chicken spawners so i don't know how much that would be worth considering this is atlas kits and they're only chicken spawners uh, i don't know if i want to be doing that yet tier three though okay hold up you know what we're gonna do it i don't even care so we've actually only got a minute to do this trade before the server restarts so hopefully he will be able to get him fairly quickly here and then once the server's restarted we can move on to more trades and a lot more profit <laughs> anyways we'll drop him the kits hopefully he don't scam us or nothing oh let's go let's go come on i gotta pick him up there we go we got the spawners we'll let him know thank you and we're out of here so i don't want to engage in too many more trades before the server restarts simply because if we drop an item and yeah there we go <laughs> So that previous trade was our seventh trade that we did, I think. I'll keep a count on the screen right now as well, so you can kind of keep track. But I think that was a seventh one, and now we're at two tier three chicken spawners. They're worth a value of 120k each. So we've got approximately 240,000 coins worth of value in these chicken spawners. And we're just going to see what people are willing to trade for this. Hopefully it's nothing like lower than what we had previously. Hades leggings, what, what's on these? Honestly, that's not a bad trade. It's got a Wrath of Hera. Or I don't know if that's like too good of a deal or not but i think we might have to take it hopefully it's a realistic offer and i'm sorry if it's not guys i'm trying to be as realistic as possible but i really don't know entirely what the prices of items are on this server yet all right so we'll send him a tpa here and hopefully this is a decent trade i mean considering all i think we could probably get upwards of like a forge book or two forge books so honestly good trade it's also got a protection nine refinement on it i think because if i'm not mistaken hades is usually prot seven so this is actually an even better deal than i thought now the one downside is it's got 26 fixes so if someone doesn't have free fix they're not going to be as willing to purchase this but overall i think we could potentially get upwards of a forge book from this so we're just gonna item it and just say we're willing to trade for a forge book but if someone's got a different offer i'll consider it but ideally i'd like to get a forge book from this i'll trade you a g chest plate for the leggings Ooh, i don't know he's got to item it i think i'm willing to consider that trade though that's not a terrible one it's an atlas chest plate and it's got world shaker cursed gears springs that's a good deal actually hold up that's a really good deal. All right, so we'll send a TP accept here and we will just drop this for him. And now we got a really good start. I think he probably wanted the wrath from it and the protection refinement. But honestly, I'm excited. This thing's got gears five and springs and also bloom. So this is a type of thing that someone can go PVP with if they don't want to make a full G set. It's already got decent enchants that you can use with it. And overall, I think we can probably get upwards of two forge books or so from this. So we'll see if anyone's got any offers for this. I just item it in chat again i mean considering everything though these trades are going extremely well and i'm really happy with how this video has been turning out necromancer kit no that's not worth it that that would be like a step backward man so we're not really getting any offers on this which is kind of sad considering all i swear this thing's like a curse we literally cannot get rid of this thing immortal power tag times three. Ooh, i don't know if that's worth it though yeah you know surprisingly it's a lot easier when the items are worth less money to get trades because something like this it's it's actually worth a fair amount of money which in turn means people aren't willing to do as much trades for it so that's sadly a downside to it okay people are probably getting annoyed because i swear i'm trying to sell this i'm trying to find offers of what people are willing to trade this for but honestly i'm just finding nothing guys i really just need one semi-decent trade now i'm thinking even if i can get like a wrath of chronos or a wrath of Ares or some sort of decent wrath enchant for this okay so we got a gentleman possibly considering doing the trade here no sorry oh my gosh i swear i can't get any trades immunity one times 19 honestly i might have to take that trade there I want this for the chest play what is it what is it Aries sword hold on hold on we might be getting a g sword Ooh, i mean it's not a g sword that's the issue but i think the other trade that i was getting here for the immunities might be a better idea so here you go here's the chest plate i don't want it that thing has caused me so much pain i've been trying to sell it for the past like 10 minutes now now i've got 19 immunities so thank you sir and then on top of that we also got a boreas kit so that's pretty cool kind of just an extra item for the trade man i swear the trades literally are not coming in i'm trying to see if anyone's willing to trade stuff 
for this, but there's just no offers coming up now. You know, a while back, I actually had an offer for a G sword. I think when I had the chest plate or leggings, and now that I'm thinking back, I probably should have just taken that deal and called it good, since there's no one out here willing to trade for this stuff that I've got now. Just one little piece of advice, if you are willing to do this, just make sure you're trading for stuff that's kind of in high demand. I mean, immunity books, they're somewhat up there, but I don't think it's a super crazy item. Obviously, stuff like forge books, kits, G pieces, usually those things are going to sell for a lot more and a lot quicker. Uh, 59 forge dust might be a worthwhile trade. I could ask this guy if he wants to. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not, but we'll just see if he wants to do that trade because at this point, I'm desperate, guys. I can't find anyone willing to do trades. I don't know how I got stuck with these items. I did some bad trades, but it's okay. I really, like, I have other CEs and I'd love to offer him it, but I can't because it's for the video and this is all we got from the trade and we can't just throw in extra items from our PV, obviously. Oh, let's go. We got the offer. All right, all right. So there we go. 19 immunities and a Boreas kit for 59 forge dust. That's a really good deal. So thank you, sir. <laughs> Big shout out to that guy. Anyways, I think at this point, we got an item that we could potentially trade for a G set. They're all adding 15%. We got almost a stack of them. So let's just see. Is anyone willing to trade all this stuff for a G sword? Demeter sword. Hold on. Hold on. This could be it. This could be it. What is this? <gasps> Honestly, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Do I have anything else? No, that's the issue. Oh my gosh. I don't think this is worth enough yet. That's so annoying though. So 59 forge dust for a wrath of Kronos. I know I can sell that for potentially a good amount of coins or even maybe a G sword. I'm not sure. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the forge dust. So here we go. We've gone from a wooden sword up to a wrath of Kronos. We're almost there. We're about an hour into this recording and it's taken me quite a good amount of time, a little more than I was expecting it would take. But now we can maybe see if someone's willing to trade this wrath of Kronos for a G sword or something at least i don't know if that's a good deal or not i mean hopefully it's not like we're ripping people off i'm trying to make these trades as fair as possible but i really don't have enough knowledge of the prices on this server i mean seriously guys all i do every day is just mine melons that's what i do on this server i make money but i don't know the prices of stuff for demi peg sword all right we're gonna let him know to item it and if it's a decent sword i think we could even potentially trade that demi sword up to a maxed out g sword of a different style Ooh, so it's got a couple of enchants it's got vampire lightning and unstable i mean it's okay it's not a terrible sword i have one more demi so we'll just ask him if he's willing to trade both of these and he is okay honestly this might be it oh shoot he's got three hold up oh my gosh i'll give you back your atlas sword that's a really good deal oh my gosh so we can trade these three demi swords for a maxed out g sword i'm almost positive we got to give him a screenie for this one guys this guy's a legend and we're out of here we got our three demi swords that i think we can easily trade for a maxed out g sword we got two different people willing to trade already which is amazing news for me because that means we can finally complete the quest summer horse has a one thing called dread killer it's got a wrath of chronos on it which is kind of interesting for a g sword but that's okay that's actually potentially a really good deal i just gotta pick which g sword i want now i've got options this is crazy i really never thought i'd actually have options of what swords i can pick and how so he itemed one that's called slayer and ooh, this one might be better it's got the crucified tag it's like max max it's got all the good enchants on it i might have to go with that one all right so we're showing him the g swords just to see if he's willing to do this trade and if he does we got it otherwise we got a backup that we can run to but i think overall the sword that he's got right now is gonna be a better deal so he's willing to do a trade for one without a kills counter but honestly that's okay with me i think overall i wouldn't really want a sword with iron army simply because it's not the best enchant and here we go this is it oh my gosh this is such a good sword oh my gosh we gotta rename this thing though we really gotta rename it that's the last thing that we're gonna have to do so I can't really think of any good ideas for to call it, so I'm just gonna call it Bimber's G-Sword for now. I need 20 XP levels, so I'll be right back. <laughs> so we just gotta use all these up. It actually takes quite a bit of um, XP to level up, which I'm honestly surprised about. But there we go, we finally got enough to rename this thing. So let's actually rename this for real. And just like that, there we go. 
We got Bimber's G Sword. It's got a decimated tag on it. It's got Rage 5, Lifesteal, Lightning, Berserker, Vampire, Parish 3, and Bleeding 2. Honestly, this thing is amazing. Considering we went from literally a wooden sword all the way up to this, I'm just so amazed. If you got a different name that you want me to name it, just throw it down below in the comments. And then I can take a look. And if there's a really good name that I like, I will rename this thing. But for now, it's a decent name. Anyways, apart from that, there is one final thing that I want to do in the end of this video that I've really been wanting to do for a while. Now, the one downside is I don't have enough mob coins to do this, but in the shop, you can actually buy invisibility potions for 80 mob coins. All right, so there we go. For a YouTube kit, we got six invisibility potions. Honestly, a really good deal, but there is something that we are going to do with this. Now, somewhere in my base here, yeah, I've got a ton of different kits. Obviously, we don't want anything crazy good when we're going to the outpost, and essentially, the goal here is to just make mess with people. Now essentially all we gotta do is we're gonna pop a slime ball so we can actually move quickly, but the moment we go outpost, we're gonna actually take off our armor as we're falling down. We're gonna drink the invisibility first, and then we'll literally be invisible at outpost. And we can just mess with people. Hopefully I don't die, but if I do, I don't have a ton of coins on me, so it's not really a huge concern. But just like that, we're gonna drink a night vision. We're actually gonna grab one more night vision as well to have with me. And then we're gonna drink this invisibility, and as soon as we get that drink, we're gonna go straight to the outpost and if all works we're gonna be invisible so let's drink this up slash pvp and take off that armor real quick and look at us we're literally at the outpost no one can see us there's a little bit of potions a little bit of potion effects but that's not a huge concern we'll actually use this slime ball so we can move really quickly and now i can just mess with people i mean they're fighting someone but i can try to claim the outpost for my faction and someone just died i might be able to steal some loot oh shoot don't see me don't see me <gasps> oh no 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 how did I get hit? How did I get hit? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. What I'm thinking is if I drink an invis and then I quick log out and actually re-log, it might work a little bit better. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do slash hub. And then if all goes to plan, we should be fine. But I can't make any promises. It's PvP, it stuff goes down. We can kind of approach this dude and maybe we can kind of mess with him just a little bit, you know? If we go like this and we go like that, Oh shoot, oh no, don't see me. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> that did not work well. That did not work well. That went so terribly. I thought invis would work better, but I guess it must show my hearts because I have no idea how they were able to hit me that quickly. But anyways, I think that's about all I've got. I hope you all did enjoy the video. And just like that, we went from a plain and simple wooden sword all the way up to a maxed out G sword. So anyways, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next one.